Okay, for this Granton cutting board, I'm using three kinds of wood. Uh, first is mahogany and um, pine wood and um, uh, jackfruit wood, I think. I don't know the, the name of this. It's just like uh, just a bright yellow wood. So, to make all this uh, wood can be joined together, I'm going to uh, run it on the thickness planner. After that, just uh, run it again on my uh, DIY jointer. And um, after that, just uh, glue up them together. So in this glue up process, I'm going to glue each kind of this wood. So first, I'm going to glue up this uh, pine wood. I'm using the 18 millimeter plywood that is for the base. So the pine wood is going to be joined together nicely and perfect straight. So I'm using this paper because I don't want the glue is going to uh, stick with the base for this plywood so why I'm using this uh, plywood board for this uh, glue up process because uh, I want this board is going to be straight and um, the width of this uh, plywood is more short than the wood that we going to join so like so so it's more easy you can uh, straight them together with this uh, plywood base and hold on using the clamp after the joint is dry next step is run it again on the thickness planer so uh, it's going to be making the even surface Okay, the next step is trim the edge. We're going to trim them the same size between these two boards. And next, we're going to join them together using this uh, double tape. I'm using this uh, masking tape first before the double tape. At the double tape, so uh, because uh, I hate to remove the double tape from the wood. That's why I'm using this masking tape first. After that, I just put the double tape on top of this masking tape. And after that, just uh, stick them together. So when it's already done, I can remove easily. The next step, I'm going to draw this wave line. So this wave line, I will cut it using my bandsaw. So it's uh, two kind of wood is stick together, and we're going to cut them uh, using the bandsaw like so. Okay, to cut with this bandsaw, you have to extra careful and don't push it too hard just follow the blade speed because if you push it too hard you make the blade is flexing and uh, it's not going to make a straight cut between this uh, the top and the bottom of this board okay next step is remove this uh, double tape and masking tape and after that you just uh, switch the position of this uh, wood uh, between the pine wood and the mahogany okay just switch them like so you will get the different uh, color and the contrast and um, after this we're going to make the inlay using this uh, jackfruit wood 
so the inlay is going to stack in between this uh, joint but before we join and at the inlay we're going to remove the tip mark from the bandsaw using this uh, drum sander and uh, making this uh, spline for this uh, inlay I enjoy using this uh, jackfruit wood because the color is bright yellow so it's going to be a good inlay for this uh, joint it's uh, good if you have a parallel clamp because I don't have this uh, parallel clamp that I just use this uh, pipe clamp After that is the same like usual, run it again on this thickness planer to remove this uh, glue and uh, to make the surface is even and we are going to stick them together again using the double tape. This time we are going to remove this end side. So you dry again the line the wave line and you cut it again on this pencil for the second process this is uh, the same process with the first one we're going to switch them again the position after cutting with the bandsaw just run it again on your drum sander to remove this uh, teeth mark and after that just uh, glue them together and add the inlay now for this jointing process I'm going to use a lot of uh, F clamp to help me make sure this uh, board is stay straight and flat with the base Okay, the next step is I'm going to use my plunge router, DIY plunge router. I'm using this uh, round nose, 3H inch. So this is going to be the juice screw. And the next step, I'm going to chamfer all the edge, the sharp edge, all side of this uh, cutting board edge. Last but not least, I'm going to make this uh, finger slot. So this finger slot is, is going to make a good grip when you put this uh, cutting board on the table like so and the last process is adding this uh, natural oil this is the food grade so it's safe contact with the food so after this uh, natural oil I'm going to add it with this uh, wax so the wax is also uh, food grade so um, it's safe for uh, food okay guys the drunken cutting board is already done even my wood is not uh, as good as it's look um, ah it is what it is this is what i have
so uh, I will uh, see you again on my next project and uh, please leave a comment if you have anything to uh, ask me and see you again on my next project thank you guys